What is going on investors? Uh, back again, eventful day. Be ready for lots of videos here on the Investor Channel. Today, we're gonna take a look first at Google, ticker symbol G-O-O-G -O -O or G-O-O-G-L, depending on which one you want. They have different voting rights. Doesn't matter too much, uh, not necessarily, but uh, basically the same stock. We see this stock is up huge in the after hours, about 4% and about the three and a third percent in the regular session. That's a solid six, 7% gain in one one day for one of the largest companies in the world. We're ticking up over a trillion dollar market cap. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at companies as they report earnings. We dissect a little bit of the news. We jump into the numbers, the most important stuff. We'll take a look at, you know, YouTube ads. We'll take a look at Google Cloud. We'll take a look at the balance sheet and things like that. And then finally, we'll jump over to the stock chart as well. We'll take a look at some levels where you could potentially add Google shares or go long this stock if that is what you want to do. So again, we're into Google now. Just wanted to make really quickly. I was on the Trader Merlin show yesterday. I'm going to put a link to this channel and the show in the description below. If you want to take a look at my interview with Trader Merlin, I think this is a great program. He has a daily show where he talks all about trading and the markets. Check it out. The links are in the description below. Now, also, if you like Google, you like Facebook, Apple, Tesla, all the FANG stocks, I do a weekly recap. All these ones where, uh, you know, I have Elon Musk or uh, it's a basically a stock recap show. I'll be posting that tomorrow. Now, last week I didn't do one. I was stuck on the golf course, but we will regularly do that on a Friday. So jumping into Alphabet or Google's beat, they had a really nice quarter. We'll take a look. Revenues rose 14%. They increased their employees. Everything looked pretty good. Cash and cash equivalents at the end of the quarter is, is up huge. We'll take a look at all that when we jump into the numbers. Here we go. Quarter and ended September 30th, 19 over 20. We see a Google search and other went up nicely. Wow. Went up from to about 20, you call that 25, I guess, up to 26. That's solid YouTube. Take a look at YouTube. Absolutely blowing it out of the park. We went from 3.8 billion in a year. We go all the way up to 5 billion. So annualize that out. You're at a $20 billion just ad rate just on YouTube. 20 billion. That easily dwarfs uh, a lot of a lot of stocks out there, let alone some advertising stocks. Now they're different properties as well. So this is Google properties. So we went from twenty. They it basically combined Google search and YouTube here. So if you take those two properties, we went from twenty eight point five billion up to thirty one point three seven. And again, this is with the lack of travel ads, the lack of movie trailers. There's a lot of ads, especially like here on YouTube. You probably haven't noticed a lot of movie trailers. You might have noticed those in the years uh, prior and same with Google search like booking an airline or booking a rental car or a hotel those ads have, have almost vanished basically and so uh, this is a positive sign that they were able to grow these revenues as nicely as they were in the quarter should uh, you know create some tailwinds in future quarters whenever we get over this health situation so Google network and member properties we were at about 5 billion here ticked up to 5.7 so total Google ad advertising right here. We're at 30. We went from 30, call that 34 billion up to $37.1 billion. That's quite a bit. Now, the other parts of the business, not to be ignored, Google Cloud. Okay. So they're competing against uh, Microsoft Azure and Amazon AWS. Uh, this is never going to be, I shouldn't say never, but this is always going to play a second fiddle or always have to, a better way to say it is always going to have to fight for business between Microsoft and Amazon. That's probably the best way to say it. So I wouldn't expect this business to just totally blow up and be a, a multi, multi-billion dollar business. But take a look, we're already there. 2.3 Eight billion dollars in the previous year. Now we're up to 3.4. Boy, that's growing nicely. You know, at that growth rate, you're close to a five billion dollar business. It's getting close to YouTube uh, type of revenue here uh, pretty soon. Google Other, boy, wouldn't you like to have some of Google Other revenue went from four billion dollars? I would guess this maybe like Google Nest and the smoke alarms and things like that, and up to 5.5 billion dollars total revenue. So we finally get to total revenue. News went from 4.2 
40.2, excuse me, up to 46 billion. That is like $6 billion added to the revenue line. That's absolutely phenomenal. They add some other stuff here. We get the total number here, 4.6. Again, that's about $6 billion over the previous period. Notice the employees, they're adding employees here. So a lot of headcount here and they actually added to it. Should show you that the, the company is excited and they have visibility into their business. So we'll jump into the balance sheet here. This is the balance sheet where we take a look at how well capitalized. I think it should be no surprise this company is as well capitalized as any that you'll see in the stock market today. Well, We've got, uh, let's see, as of December 20, this is the, the end of the year, basically the first of the year, and then this is today. So we got about a nine-month view here. We've got about $132 billion in cash. That is way up, way up from 119. So what is Google going to do with this money? Okay, they've got to do something with this. They don't pay a dividend. I don't necessarily, we'll look at the cash flow statement, see if they're executing some kind of stock buyback. But even if they bought back $132 billion worth of stock, I don't think that would be the, the perfect use of this cash. What are they going to do with this cash? They got to do something with it. They got to make some acquisitions. They've got to make some big moves. This is $132 billion just sitting there basically making uh, no money. Uh, they don't really have, I don't think this is, they have a little bit of long-term debt. I see. So we, we've added a little bit of long-term debt. We went from 4.5 billion up to about 14 billion in long-term debt. Doesn't look like any of it is in the short-term side. So there's nothing there. Take a look at our total liabilities, including about $14 billion in debt. We've got 86 billion in liabilities. I told you just a second ago, they have $132 billion in cash. They could literally write a check for every liability they have, every employee retirement benefit, every debt, every lease that they have on a building, every debt that they have, they could write a check for it and have more on more cash on hand than probably 99% of the companies in the stock market today. They need to do something with this cash. I think uh, some investors better start pounding the table on that one. At some point, it will likely materialize, I'm sure. So statement of income, again, we just saw the revenue. Here's quarter ended 19 over 20, and they've got a year-to-date nine-month view. We saw this $46 billion mark. This is not, uh, you know, what I showed you counted like YouTube and Google Cloud. It kind of broke it out in that sense. Here we get a better sense of the cost. So we already know our top line was really nice. It grew about $6 billion. We see here it's about $10 billion for the nine months ended. We see down here total costs and expenses. How well are they controlling these costs? I'm going to guess they're doing it pretty good. And when you look at it, yes. So we grew here about, we'll just call that $6 billion. I know it's closer to about $5.4 or so like, uh, something like that. But we grew about, th that's a little over $3 billion down here. And then we see we grew about 10 billion here on the expenses for the nine months. Coming down to net income, we went from 7 billion up to $11.2 billion. When we jump into cash flows, keep in mind some of these costs are, are non-cash. So we have some stock-based compensation that is written in here like it's cash. And so that will impact this net income number. Just wanted to make you aware of that. For the nine month ended, we went from 23.7 billion up to 25 billion. Look how much money we're earning per, per share. Google, can you pay a dividend? Can you do something with the cash you're making? Look at this. They're making $16, $16.40 diluted in a quarter. They've made $36 in nine months diluted. And they're not giving you a dividend. They're not making any notable acquisitions. They weren't in there trying to buy TikTok, although with all the, the regulation and the, the antitrust stuff that they have going on, it probably wouldn't be trying to do that either. But they need to do something with this cash. Let's come to the cash flows. We'll see uh, some more stuff going on here. Again, stock-based compensation, you see, is actually a very significant part of their expenses. Also depreciation, but more so the stock-based compensation. You see this net income number is 7 billion. Let's look at the most current quarter. We're at 11.3 billion, call it. Okay. 3.2 billion of it is stock-based compensation. So you can start to add that back in, start factoring that in your numbers. And you see here, we had $17 billion worth of cash flow in the quarter. That's up 
about 1.5 billion over the previous period. We see for the nine months added $42 billion worth of cash flows. That's up about 2 billion, a little, actually a little over 2 billion from the previous period. Let's come down here. Let's see. So we're repaying the debt. They've got a small amount of debt. I see they are executing a buyback. So we are repurchasing stock here. We did 5 billion. We did seven, we'll call that almost 8 billion in the most previous period. We've done $23 billion worth of, of stock buybacks over the last year, but it's still just, I mean, that is, I mean, it's about half of our, our net cash flows for the nine months, but still, this is a company that just has an excess of cash. You'd like to see them uh, be more aggressive at some point here in the future. Now, Google popped in the after hours, this top line, I should bump it up. I'll bump it up a little bit here. So this green line uh, right where my cursor is, is about where the stock is trading. We were down uh, closer to here today, actually. And so this stock popped huge in the after hours. You can see here, we're popping up big time. We popped up big time in the regular session and we're popping up in the after hours session as well. So this stock is doing nice. Actually gone up above into an elevated range, which is a very, very bullish sign. And so we'll see what happens with this one. I think you can almost eliminate the shot at getting down to these lower level. This lower level down here at 1400 would have been a great spot to buy the stock. The stock right here at 14 75 would have been a nice spot to buy the stock as well. But right now, this stock is performing very strong. I think we're in this upper channel between, call it 1590, up into where it's at, 1660 or so. Will it retest these all-time highs? So this is kind of the blow-off top a lot of stocks made back, you know, just a month or two ago. We'll see if we're able to push back up into this. This is actually a longer-term trend line. If I zoom this chart out a little bit where actually I came off the March lows that a lot of stocks made and this longer t term trend line, I actually expect at some point for the stock to come back up here and retest this upper trend line at some point. So that's kind of the target that we're looking at actually is probably somewhere up in this range. Again, that would take out or test these all time highs. And we're very, very close to that uh, right now with Google. So very bullish sign, a, a company with some tailwinds. Once we get the, the travel back, once we we get uh, rental cars and hotels and things advertising and movie uh, movie trailers and things like that. There should be a lot of revenue coming back into Google. Now, they do have the regulation overhang, depending on what happens with the election, how the Senate and the Congress, it's not really the president necessarily. It's really how the Senate and the Congress kind of breaks out. We'll see uh, what happens or the Senate and the House of Representatives is probably the best way to say that. So we'll see what happens. But this stock, I would expect to be up in this upper chair channel here now and we'll see if it can retest these all-time highs. I wouldn't necessarily be a buyer at these all-time highs or as it tested these all-time highs because this should provide some uh, form of resistance on the way up in my opinion. Uh, but at the lower end of this channel, 1590, you call it up to 1600, wouldn't be a bad spot in my opinion if you wanted to add to some Google shares. You probably should have some already. So that's Google up big time in the after hours, up 6%. That's about $100 per share after a $50 gain in the regular session. That's Google. We'll be back again very soon with more videos.